put off by how long this video is, don't worry. I tend to jam-pack my videos with as much content, as many details as I possibly can, and I try to talk pretty fast. So while the video is a bit on the long side, I don't repeat myself and I get into a lot of details about the subject that, you know, pretty much anything that I feel I can comment on and that I think you might find interesting. But hey, if the video is just too long for you to watch, chances are I recorded a shorter version and the link will be in the description box. It's not an inferior video, it's merely a Cliff's Notes version of this very video. Cabin in the Woods Movie Review Five teenagers, college students, are going for a getaway. They are, of course, going far away, because that's the horror film convention. And these five are the, the slutty one, Julie, the jock, Kurt, whose cousin's place it is, the virgin, Dana, the bookworm, I guess, sort of, Holden, who's meeting Dana for the first time, and Dana's just getting out of a relationship, so, which was really bad, so, who knows if maybe they will, you know, get together, and the stoner, Marty. And, yeah, the various horror-type stuff occurs in this titular cabin, but there's something else going on, and I can't really give any more details. The, the trailer hints at it, and that's really all it should be, because it's, yeah, there, there are some really great twists in this. Every, every time you think that things are, like, settled and, okay, this is what we're dealing with, then something just happens and it completely changes up. Yeah, I can barely believe that this movie is like 90 minutes long with just how much actually happens in it and how many beat changes there are, to, excuse me, throughout. Anyway, first and foremost, this is primarily a satire of horror films. It has some decent jump scares and there are definitely creepy instances and there are like, you know, so some of the gore and violence can be effective. But uh, it's not a terribly scary film. And I'd say it's partially... It... Let, let me make this absolutely clear. This movie and the two people primarily responsible for it, Drew Goddard of Cloverfield and see if I if I was a bigger geek I'd remember his name. The guy who directed that Avengers, I Joss Whedon, that's his name. They hate modern horror films. That's pretty clear from this. I mean, we're talking like the 70s and until now, the horror films, the, the mainstream horror films of that period of time. They, they cannot stand them, and this is like, just, yeah, just expressing just how much they hate them. And don't get me wrong, I, I very much enjoyed this film, but just, you know, go in knowing that, maybe. The characters are not bad. I mean, they, they actually aren't as obnoxious as, you know, the current standard for an American horror film calls for. And there were several of them that I genuinely liked, especially Marty. He has some really great lines. 
in general, the dialogue is quite good. And just, yeah, um, amongst, you know, between all of the characters, really. And the acting is rather good. I really only knew Thor in this movie, and then there you are know, like one or two other characters who I'm not going to give away here, but yeah, I, I didn't know very many actors of this. Anyway, I should maybe also say there is the obligatory eye candy, you know, the slutty one <laughs> does a dance or two and, you know, dresses provocatively, and the whole, you know, the whole nine yards. Now, and it definitely is a very violent and bloody, very gory film. Yes, I suppose I should talk about, this is basically, at least trying to be, what Scream was to the slasher genre. This is trying to be to, again, the modern horror movies in general. And it does mostly succeed, except, again, it's not so much an entry into as just primarily satire. You know, Scream is 50-50, half horror, half satire horror. This is all satire. And, yeah, but it, it is very funny. It's, you know, so some of the... I mean, it it does, it depends on if you like it. if if you like what you see in the trailer. I mean, there you, you see in the trailer this clip of you know, one character says we should split up. Another character says, good idea. And then the third character comments, are you serious? That's kind of you know. I mean that that kind of thing happens a couple of times in this movie. You know, you have this you know where. They're basically doing what we expect characters in modern horror movies to do, and then, you know, someone else points out, this is really stupid, you know, and, but, but, yeah, they, they make it work, per, I, I thought, you know, and it's not as, I don't know, I'm, I'm making it sound kind of, Odd and as if it does, as if it doesn't fit in the universe of the film, and it very much does. There is an explanation for it. I won't give it away here, but there is an explanation for it. And in general, it's just it has some really great jokes. And again, a lot of them do come from Marty the Stoner. I'm generally not even into like stoner comedy. It's really well paced. I, again, I mean, the twists and everything, it really just keeps moving constantly. And there are some really great nods to big, famous, I mean, let's get the obvious one out of the way. Yes, there are Evil Dead references in this, you know, it's just, it's just, just with the title, you could kind of figure that, yeah. And... Yeah, there, there are several other very prominent horror franchises that are, you know, referenced. I suppose that does more or less cover it. It's, it's a very enjoyable film if you like meta and you kind of, you know... If you've watched your share of modern horror, and you maybe feel like, okay, some of this is kind of stupid, you know, I, I could kind of gauge by the audience's reaction what they expected. There were a couple... I laughed my ass off, and so did a couple of other, other people in the theater, especially during certain sections of this, I shouldn't give more away than that, but there were chunks of the audience who I think were expecting a regular horror film, and you didn't hear a peep out of them for a lot of it, and yeah, it's just, you know, know what to expect, but I, I don't know, I don't know how you can really see the trailer and then go in and watch this movie and not know what to expect. You know, 
know, complete with the bird flying out of the animus and desynchronizing and everything. And yes, there is an explanation for that in the film as well. Yeah, I suppose that pretty well does it. Please rate and comment, and hey, if you like this video, that subscribe button's just waiting for you to click it.